All right, let's jump into the next subject of the show. We have DC that is bringing together the community again. They've done this a lot over the last few decades. What's going on? To tie in with the Year of the Villain storyline that they've been running all year over uh, in DC Comics, they are putting out like a kind of vote for the best villain That's right. contest. It's not really a contest. It's like a just an open poll, I guess, right? Like There's going to be some type of voting that takes place. Yeah, and this isn't the first time we've seen voting or uh, publishers reaching out to their readership for some decision. Yeah, we're going to be able to pick who is the villain of the year. Lex Luthor's having a pretty awesome year right now. I'd, I'd say either him or maybe even Batman like Leviathan has oh, really? been pretty cool. Uh, Batman say, Who Laughs also is an option. That's my vote. That's my vote. There's That's a lot of vote. contenders. I'm actually kind of interested to see how this pans out. I think my pick for DC's greatest villain is going to be Marvel. Ooh. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> I was going to say maybe their own film division, but, but no, they're, they're getting there. They're, they're making strides. Oh, and we're going to be talking about their film division soon, so Ooh. stay tuned and hit the subscribe button. We make a lot of comic book content. DC is bringing the community together so we can help decide the number one villain of the year. And I'm stoked about this because DC has regularly brought the comic book community together to make influence happen on comic book storylines. So Jim Starlin was writing for Batman in the 80s, and um, he wasn't a big fan of Robin. Yeah, he really didn't like him. You know, and then you used to have Dick Grayson, and then you had Jason Todd, and he was the new kid on the block, not really around for very long. Denny O'Neill, the editor for DC, decided to put it to a vote on whether Robin should survive or die in an issue. This is for Batman Death in the Family series. Mineola covers, by the way. That's right. Okay, a guy can't draw shoulders to save his life. But, oh, we're going to get into that, too. Stay tuned, comic fam. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, I kid. Uh, but they decided that Robin will not survive. I right. mean, they put it to the readership through a customer service number. You had to call a number and be like, yay or nay. Isn't Kill that, him. Isn't that awesome? I vote for him to die. Imagine like, all these little kids calling. Um, yeah, I think you should kill the character off. Yeah, it's kind of dark, <laughs> it actually. Is. I haven't really thought about it too deeply. But yeah, all these people are voting for the death of him. And it worked. Like, they killed the guy. That's right, and that brings me to my favorite Marvel's attempt to get the community's involvement. I'm talking about the Marvel tryout book. So Jim Shooter, you know, famous for piloting and like really pushing the black costume. A year after that that happened for Spider-Man, he put out this comic book. It was an unfinished book that would encourage a number of writers, artists, letterers, and inkers to all try out for Marvel. And what I find intriguing is that just a short few years after when they announced the winners, a guy named Mark Bagley ended up winning the penciler column. What the hell's a Mark Bagley? Mark Bagley, man. Carnage. Ultimate Spider-Man. Man, he did so much at Marvel, and it was because of this. How awesome would it be to see more community involvement in comic books? They need to put one of these out right now. I kind of want to just like doodle in a, in a comic book. Do you remember what Donny Cates told us when we met him? No. He, why don't you tell me? He said that he was just working at comic book shops, and they kept getting closed down, and he was out of work. And he went to school to write, and he got picked up, and he was surprised to see his stuff land so hard with the community. And now he's one of the top writers in the field. Yeah, that's, that's fascinating to see that it, it can happen to anybody. All you need is that chance and opportunity and to put yourself out there. It also takes a really, really good idea. 